Welcome to 5 Minutes of Faith brought to you by Believer's Ministry where we're reaching the community with the love of Christ, one person, one family at a time. Join us as we are taking excerpts from our pastor's recent sermon. It's going to be about five minutes. The title of today's message is, Don't Deny Your Faith in God. Our lesson text will be taken from Daniel, the third chapter, verses 1 through 30. But our focus of attention will only be on three verses, and that is verse 16 through 18 from the New International Version. And it reads, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied to him, King Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this manner. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to deliver us from it, and he will deliver us from your majesty's hand. But even if he does not, we want you to know, your majesty, that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. We are not to bow down and worship anyone or anything except God. He alone is worthy of all the honor, all of the glory, and all of the praise. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego bowed down and worshiped God. They courageously took their stand for God. Yes. We must take a stand for God yes. and be more concerned about pleasing God yes. above anyone or anything. Mm -hmm. We must pledge our allegiance to God first and foremost yes. and bow down and worship Him and Him only. Yes. So notice the first thing they said to the king was, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. Mm -hmm. They knew that God was their defense. Mm -hmm. And we have to know that too. When we are taking a stand for God, God is our defense. Mm -hmm. We don't have to defend ourselves when we are taking a stand for God. Mm -hmm. So in those times, we must not take things in our own hands. We must depend on God to fight our battles. Mm -hmm. Let God be your defense. Mm -hmm. We must know like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego that the God we serve right. is able to deliver us. Yes. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego knew God was able to deliver them, but they didn't know how he would deliver but they were confident that God would give them the strength to face the fiery furnace. Amen. Glory be to God. Sometimes we don't want to face the fiery furnace. Sometimes we got to face the fiery furnace and go in the furnace to see that God is a deliverer. We praise God through it all. We praise God in the fiery furnace. God is wanting us to get to the point where we trust him. Remember, God is our provision. God is our protection, and God is our promotion. God is our defense. We have to come to the place where we understand and realize God is our all and all. So we don't want to deny our faith in God. The heat may be on today, but God is able to give you the strength you need to face your fiery furnace. Don't bow, don't break, and don't bend under the pressure. Don't deny your faith in Jesus Christ. You got to be willing to take a stand for Jesus. Mm -hmm. Serve and worship God with your whole heart, like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Yes. You have to pledge your allegiance first and foremost to God. Yes. Be totally committed to God. Put your trust in God mm -hmm. because He is able to deliver you. And when the heat is on, we must remember that we have victory in the name of Jesus. So we must pledge our allegiance to a God who never fails. Jesus never fails. Hallelujah. So we got to continue to pledge our allegiance to Jesus Christ, the only true and living God, the Savior of the world. God is able to deliver you. It don't matter what it looks like. It don't matter what you think. It don't matter what you feel. It don't matter what other people say. God is able to deliver you. Don't deny your faith in God. We trust that the word has encouraged you, has impacted your life, and we'd like to extend a cordial invitation to come out and join us in service. 
Our address is 465 Waterbury Court, Suite E, Gehanna, Ohio, 43230.